Happy Thursday, folks. Um, yeah, things got a little bit, what, um, messy today, to say the least, all right? So um, we were all expecting, I mean, I guess, I was expecting based on the after hour price that we we're seeing yesterday after market close to see, you know, kind of a, a green day today, I know, not only in, on AMC, but on all the markets overall. But um, <laughs> that was a very choppy session because right after the opening, things looked promising. It, they, they look greener, you know, and then all of a sudden, boom, everything, you know, kind of pulled down. And um, I'm going to share with you in this video what I believe is the reason why today AMC does not pop and uh, what is actually happening this week. You know, I've, I mean, I've shared this with you many times this year. Um, and it's about quadruple witching day. I know it sounds, you know, you know, witching quadruple. What the heck is this? Well, Quadruple Witching Day is that day where, you know, you have options for the entire four asset classes on the market closing at the exact same time. Options, futures, indexes, and forex, all right? Currencies, foreign currencies, you know, so that is a day where you have a lot of volatility just because, first of all, on one side, you have the market makers trying to make sure they're not losing money. And that's why when you jump on, you know, AMC's Tonko truck, you can actually see that the number of calls for the $26 strike today, meaning the number of people who are betting on AMC's price to hit $26 tomorrow, um, those calls, those bets are already in the water. They already went to trash. They went to trash today. Sont tous à la poubelle, les gars. Why? Because, um, yeah, that's what usually happens during quadruple witching day. People who are selling options and uh, to, to, to retail investors or other type of investors, you know, those are the market makers, you know, they make the market by providing liquidity by selling those products. Well, on these days, they want to make sure they have as much money on their side, in their pockets as possible. And because of that, there is a lot of volatility, especially on the downtrend, the downside of things. And that's why I believe we had, you know, this choppy session on AMC, which actually is kind of, you know, a, 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 um, a pretty illustration, pretty good illustration of what we have on the market today. First of all, boom, 25, and then, you know, went down, boom, went up, went down. So it was really choppy. At some, some point, we're losing, what, 1%, which was kind of uh, weird, right? So, um... It's kind of not bad that we closed around this price point just because of this quadruple witching day. I mean, look, this is the date for 2021. We had March 19, we had June 18, September 17, and then finally September 17, which is the Friday of this week, and it is tomorrow, all right? So usually a couple of days prior to that you can, I mean, you can see a lot of, you know, shenanigans happening in the market because, again, the market maker is trying to be market makers, all right? Now, some people will think because the interest, I mean, the Fed, you know, mentioned yesterday that they're going to increase interest rates, you know, um, that is actually why we are seeing the NASDAQ pull pretty hard today. But I mean, have you looked at the Russell 2000? So, I mean, I don't really buy it. Second of all, when you look at interest rates, when you look at the yields, meaning the bond market, all right? The bond market is really the market where interest rates are the main driver. So if it was really inflation-driven sell-off, why, first of all, the Nasdaq jumped 2 and 15% yesterday after Mr. Powell finished speaking? Weird, right? Second of all, the yield curve, all right? So the interest rates are dipping. They are going down. They went down today, meaning people are not fearing that the market is going to fall, hence jumping into putting their money into bonds. So to me, that tells me that it's really about this quadruple witching day thing, which um, I'm expecting this to maybe see some type of flatness tomorrow, but definitely at we go into next week, we might see something really happening here and popping uh, uh, um, as people will start buying it again because between now and the end of the, the year, between now and December 31st, there is literally nothing, you know, that will actually be negative for the market. I mean, even thinking about Omicron, Pfizer disclosed today that they have, you know, a pill and that pill, it's 90% 
effective on Omicron. I mean, on COVID, including Omicron. And um, the analysis is complete. So, you know, they're finally done with the lab and everything, the testing and everything. So I expect the clear, I mean, the skies to be clear for um, um, a very, very sharp rally, especially um, after today price action in the market. So I'm going to post another video later today when I'm talking about, you know, what to expect when it comes to some things I'm seeing from, you know, institutional buyers and the suits coming into AMC again. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so um, I will see you there.